Coming up on the Lakeside Loop, cross country team runs at night. The whole school wears green for Noah Widener, and David Taylor Eber lifts insane amounts of weight. The Loop starts now. Welcome to the Lakeside Loop. I'm Natalie Pop. And I'm Juan Gallard. This year's cross country season has been exciting, especially when the runners had a chance to run at night. The boys cross country team has been moving up the rankings and has now placed second in the state. Lakeside also hosted a grade school cross country meet for younger runners. Alexis Denman is here with the story. Lakeside Lutheran's cross country team has really had their hands full these past couple of weeks with the grade school run and two high school meets. Here to tell us more is Mr. Austin. <laughs> We ran the Kashkanan Classic, hosted by Fort Atkinson High School. It's a smaller invitational, and Varsity and JV run together, which is a lot of fun, and it went very well. That was the first time in program history that the guys won that meet, and we went up against a couple of other ranked teams and uh, passed the flying colors. The girls took second uh, behind a very good DeForest team, and that was another really good step in our uh, for our program. And the guys right now are ranked number two in the state, uh, so to win in convincing fashion even without one of our top five runners was, uh, was really a, a boost for our program in morale. And for the girls, uh, that gave them hopefully the confidence uh, going forward that we can do some damage in the postseason competition. Seven, six, five. Wow. Yeah. very well. It was a nice change of pace with running underneath the lights. Uh, we don't really get to do that and uh, that was the first time for our program to do that and in addition to the experience I thought our teams both competed very well. Uh, the girls were able to notch a second place uh, team finish and then the boys also uh, were able to take the victory for the Division 2 races. It was an exciting evening and uh, the guys got to experience what it was like to run with over 300 people in one, at one time and the girls had nearly 200 entrants in their own race. It's such a hard sport that does not get the kind of press that football, basketball, even soccer to an extent get. We don't get to run underneath the lights too often with the exception of the Nightfall Classic. Uh, but it is a sport that just rewards hard work. And we don't really get to see the rewards for it until we get nearly to the end of the season. But it is just an absolute joy to see kids that are Maybe not all that uh, sure about what they're able to bring to the sport to just realize uh, some potential that they never realized that they even had. And uh, to be witness to that is really, really something special to see how God has blessed these kids. And then uh, to be hopefully uh, you know, a positive uh, influence in, in uh, realizing that potential is just something that is irreplaceable. Two, one, best, best sport! <laughs> Ah, the grade school meet. Yes, that was a lot of fun. We had about 230 kids, give or take, a few that uh, competed on our campus. And uh, we went from eight races to four. So we just had fifth and sixth girls, fifth and sixth boys, seventh and eighth girls, seventh and eighth boys. Um, and I thought the format went, went pretty well. And everyone ran a mile and a half this year. That was a change from years past. And uh, we also had fully automated timing for the first time. So results were up within you know, uh, about 20 minutes of the conclusion of the final race. We had team results right away, so that was really convenient. With all the uh, all the kids that are on campus, get, I gave them great exposure to uh, the sport and also uh, with having our kids running around with them in full uniform, I thought that was a really cool way of encouraging the young athletes. Way to go cross country. God bless the rest of your season. Recently, junior Noah Widener was diagnosed with leukemia. He was pulled out of school and is in Milwaukee for his chemotherapy and other treatments to fight the cancer. Because Noah's going through such a hard time, the Warrior family wanted to do something special to show their support. Ashlyn Jones tells us more. Noah has been going through a lot lately, so the whole student body has come together to wear all green on Tuesday. Green shirts, green hats, we are all here in support of Noah and hope he will soon be able to join us at school healthier than ever. <laughs> Okay, so last Tuesday um, was a Wear Green, Bring D Green Day. It was to raise awareness for Noah Widener, who's a junior at Lakeside that has leukemia. And we just raised money. We could bring five bucks to the office, and we could wear a hat and to raise funds for the Widener family. And the entire school wore green to support Noah. And later that night at 
the game at Columbus, everybody was encouraged to come and to see and wear green to support him. We know that God is in control of all things and everything works out for his plan. Thank you to everybody who is supporting Noah and his family through prayers and other means during this tough time. And now, it's teacher time. Teacher time, teacher time, teacher time with Isaac Garcia. Welcome back to Teach Time. This week we're interviewing Ms. Edwards, our new language teacher. Do you have any questions for the new teacher? What were you like as a student? I was definitely an overachiever. I was that student who had an A and still did the extra credit. What is a random secret you have? So I have a really bad habit of breaking out into song and dance without warning in public spaces. What is a current book you're reading? So mostly I'm reading and working through the books I'm teaching but I do have one on the Civil War and some of the scandals that I'm reading. That's pretty exciting for me right now. What school subject would you never want to teach? So I probably shouldn't teach anything with computers. I know we have a computer essentials class here because my method is click the button and see what it does, which is maybe not a good idea. <laughs> and how many languages can you say hello? I think four. There's hello and hola and bonjour, and I think ni hao is one of them too. If you had a million dollars, what would you spend it on? So I personally am not really a shopaholic kind of person, so I don't know that I would go out and buy something. I'd probably think about what's important to me and who do I want to help with this money is honestly kind of how I am. Why did you want to become a teacher? So people told me that when I explained things to them, it made sense. So, and I also enjoy when the students have that moment where they get it and their face lights up and they're like, oh, I get it. I want to help them get it. What is your teaching style? Well, my teaching style tends to vary a lot. I like to keep it fresh, keep it new. Um, sometimes we'll read outside of class and do the activity in class. Sometimes we'll, you know, do the reading in class and have an activity outside of class. Sometimes, you know, I just, I just vary it. I like to do different things. Who's your favorite individual of the Bible? Honestly, I really look up to either Esther or Ruth because they're both women that I would like to be or I'd like to model my life after them. Lakeside's Cultural Awareness Group has been sharing the message of God's love through celebrating different cultures. Currently, the group is focusing on Hispanic Heritage Month. Here to tell us more is Ragani Strawpower. Cultural Awareness at Lakeside just visited St. Mark's. Manny Iglesias and Miranda Martinez tell us more. I would encourage the freshmen, but also the, the sophomores, juniors, and seniors to join this organization because it really is a good organization this year that we just started to not only teach people the different things that happen in different cultures, but also to celebrate them because we are all different, and especially different ethnicities and things like that. And it's also good to point out that we have one thing in common, no matter like where you came from and what ethnicity you are or what your culture does, we all have Jesus in common. So I think it's really good for not only just the freshmen, but for everyone to learn new things and also just maybe learn things that they didn't even know about their own culture. So that's why I would encourage everyone to join. We recently went to St. Mark's too, and I feel like that's gonna help bring in eighth graders who are gonna wanna do this and learn about their friends, especially because St. Mark's has a Hispanic population there. I think it's cool to celebrate like how everyone is different and like not how everybody can do the same things but everyone's still like you gotta like respect other people's differences. We're making this art that's very um, popular in Mexico. You mostly make it out of tin foil and you trace it and then you color it and you don't really make it like a real sun you make it colorful. Even if we are um, different skin colors or speak different languages. We all believe in the same thing. I learned a lot about like our traditions and like um, what we do in the traditions. We are blessed to live in a community that has so many different cultures. Right here at St. Mark's, um, a third of our student body is Hispanic, something that we're very proud of, of our work um, with the Hispanic population. The majority of them right now, in fact, I think this year pretty much all of them happen to be from the country of Mexico. Um, and they're, they bring such richness to our, to our student body and to our school and to our church. Um, it, 
I can't say enough about the about the impact that they've had not only on, on our teachers and on our staff, but on the other students here. So it's been pretty cool. Thank you so much for sharing. We can't wait to see what this group can do in the future. Just recently, Lakeside had Officer Johnson come to visit the school. She had the opportunity to talk with some of the students while eating breakfast with them. So last Wednesday we did Coffee with a Cop, which was we brought in Officer Johnson and there was all kinds of like donuts and coffee for us to drink. And it was a select group of students all sat in the atrium and we listened to Officer Johnson tell us about what she does as a cop and some of her fun stories. And it was just a really neat way for us to kind of get to know her because we see her in the hallways all the time and she told us some of the funny things she does, like the fun chases she's been on and like how she deals with some, some of the less fun things. I'm really thankful that we have people like Officer Johnson in our school and just in the area. They keep us safe and they make sure everyone is having a good time. Thank you, Officer Johnson. We look forward to seeing you in the future. Well, quite a few people may think that they're strong, not many can bench press as much as this guy. David Taylor Evert lifts insane amounts with his God-given gift of strength. I started lifting my freshman year just in Phi Ed, and I really liked it, so I kept on doing it after the year ended. In the beginning, I was like pretty bad, like not like nowhere near the best, but I just kept lifting, and then after about a year, I started getting like pretty good at it, and I just kept going. My favorite lift is squat just because like it's really fun to lift that much weight and like like the feeling you get when you lift heavy just makes you like feel really good inside so it's kind of like an addiction but right now my max is 585 I hit that last spring just before track season so I'm hoping to max again in about six weeks and get like in the low 600s it's between like six and seven plates but that's on each side so like 12 to 14 total I mostly focus on squat, but I also bench and deadlift. Bench, I got to around 340, and I can deadlift around 585. It's like really fun to just like go to the gym, because like after a while you get to know everybody, and then you all just lift together, and then you get better together. And it's just really fun to lift with people. Nice job, David. Keep it up. Now, you're in the loop. I'm Juan Gullrud. And I'm Nally Puff. Thanks for watching.